Today we're going to be looking at Raven B+, which I can't believe I haven't done this yet. To get it, you want to head over to their official GitHub page, it, that's going to be linked down in the description below. Together actually with my Discord server, where you can find many more clients, just like this one, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, on that GitHub page, you can just head over to the Releases tab, find the top release that says Latest, and then click on the JAR file. So to use this, you do need to have Forge installed for Minecraft 1.8.9. If you don't have this yet, or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, here as you can see, I have Raven B Plus in my downloads. And if you also have that, then you can press on the Windows and R keys at the same time. Then in the box that pops up, you want to type in App Data, just like that, and then hit Enter, or click on OK. In this area over here, you want to go into the folder called roaming, then .minecraft, and then scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. Inside of the mods folder, you want to simply drag this file, just like that, and once you've done that, you can close up both of these, open up the Minecraft launcher, and then launch Forge for 1.8.9. Now here inside of Minecraft, we can simply head into single player world and I'll briefly show you guys how to use this. Alright, so here inside of Minecraft, uh, you can simply press on the right shift button on your keyboard and that is going to open up something known as the Click GUI over here. This contains all of the categories of utilities that Raven B Plus has, as well as a terminal, a little puppet for yourself and some more information over here. Anyways, um, clicking on these is actually going to... Um, well, pop them up, click on the little plus there. So I recommend just uh, laying this out a little, I guess. All right, not sure if it was worth my time, but I've uh, laid out basically the entire menu over here. All the things that are blue are currently enabled and have been enabled by default. Um, basically, these are all the utilities. We can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. For the rest, you can actually right click on these as well and that'll give you an entire customization menu specific to that utility, which um, as you can see is pretty cool. These just allow to you to customize basic things about them, uh, as well as that a bunch of them will actually allow you to set a keybind, as you can see it down there. Um, it might be a little small for you guys to see, but who cares? Uh, for the rest, there is also a terminal over here. You can use that if you want to. You can also turn it off if you don't want to use it. Uh, for the rest, this client should definitely be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you don't get a description when you hover over things, which is um, unfortunate. But, oh well, I guess if you don't know what something does, then either just look it up or get better at the game. Anyways, uh, yeah, for the rest, I guess, as I said, pretty simple. This is definitely, by the way, one of the uh, best, like, Forge Probably one of, yeah, definitely the best uh, uh, Forge uh, Forge clients out there for 1.8.9. W client, as I said, I can't believe that I haven't uh, shown you guys this before. Now you know exactly how and where to get it safely, of course, that's uh, probably one of the most important things. Anyways, as you can see down here in the bottom, it tells you what config you're using. In this case, we're using the default config, which is just, you know, the basic stuff. If you want to uh, use this on a server and in a situation and uh, stuff like that, then of course you can uh, download a config from the internet or make one yourself, which is uh, fun as well. Basically, when you're customizing this, then you can save a configuration for the client, which basically saves all of the customizations and active utilities and the like. Uh, and then you can apply those in different situations. And of course, for specific servers, game modes, and the like, uh, you can download configs from the internet. Of course, do make sure that they're safe first. For the rest, also take a look at this hotkey area over here, which allows you to uh, set hotkeys and stuff uh, for different things, as well as this client area over here, which allows you um, to customize this client specifically and all that stuff. So here's a client name spoofer, the terminal, which we talked about already, the GUI, which is basically this entire area. You can set different themes and um, customize that a little as well. As I said, the keybind for this is right shift, but you can actually change that if you want to. Uh, there is also a self-destruct mode, which you can set a bind to and then uh, check for updates over here, which I guess doesn't really apply anymore nowadays, but oh well, uh, for right now, that was basically that. Uh, of course, if you have any questions or like client requests, do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.